I'm Tina Shively tonight on Fox Rochester News First to 10. Friends and family mourn the loss of a father of two in this Rochester neighborhood. Hundreds of postal workers rallied to keep their traditional six day work schedule. And same sex marriage supporters prepare for a big day tomorrow when the Supreme Court plans two separate appeals. Stacy's back with us tonight. Stace? <laughs> hey, Tina, a big winter storm is affecting portions of the area off to the south and west of us. Lots of snow there. We'll talk about what we do or don't get from this coming up. Fox Rochester News First at 10 starts right now. From WUHF TV, this is Fox Rochester News First at 10 in high definition. Tonight, family and friends are remembering a man killed in a shooting on Rochester's west side. Stop the violence! Stop, Stop the killing! Stop the killing! Stop, Stop the violence! They gathered at the scene sharing stories, lighting candles, and singing, all to celebrate the life of the 36-year-old father of two. The shooting happened on Depew Street off Chilai Avenue in the city just before 9 o'clock last night. The Rochester police are not releasing the victim's name. However, the family shared his name with our Amy Young. As Amy tells us, the grandfather of one of his children is now left to help raise that child. He don't know yet, but as a grandfather, I'm going to... Take good care. James Green mourns the death of his grandson's father. Green says Demetrius Everett, known to friends and family as Smurf, was shot multiple times Saturday night at a home on Depew Street. His father was a loving, caring guy, you know. He had his ups and downs in life, but you know, there's no reason, no excuse for nobody to take another person's life, no matter what, you know. Now James is left to help raise his three and a half year old grandson. Green tells us Everett also leaves behind a daughter. His father might be gone, but he have a, a person and he have a mother who's well, employed people who work, my wife and all of them. We'll go all out our way to take care of them. They'll be taken care of. James says the story he's seen unravel on the streets of Rochester so many times before has now hit his home. There's a lot of kids left like that and it's left up to the grandparents to take care of them. And which uh, me being his grandfather, he'll be well taken care of, you know. And his father, even though he's gone, I'm sure he can rest in peace that he'll know that. Amy Young, Fox First at 10. Again, the victim has not been officially identified and no arrests have been made. This is Rochester's eighth homicide of 2000. Now, meteorologist Stacy Pingin with Rochester's most accurate forecast. Well, Stacy, nice to have you back with us. Thank you. Fortunately, you're not bringing back any warm weather. Now, you know, I tried really hard, <laughs> but there's only so much I can do. Yeah. No. Uh, much of the same. Check out some of the temperatures around the region. Right now, sitting at 33 degrees in Rochester, Dansville at 34, Buffalo 32 degrees, and Penyan in the low 30s at 31 right now. Satellite and radar, quiet for us. We actually saw a little bit of sun earlier today. The clouds are moving in. Snow is not that far away and heavy in spots through portions of uh, Indiana and into Ohio. We are going to miss out on the bulk of that. As we head into the overnight, just a few light flakes developing well to the south of Rochester. Temperatures falling into the upper 20s. As we head into the day tomorrow, we'll make it into the upper 30s, near 40 degrees, and that light snow stays south. We'll talk about why and if we have any more snow in the forecast. That's coming up, Tina. All right, Stacy, thank you. Today, hundreds of postal workers and their supporters gathered at the Jefferson Road Post Office to defend Saturday deliveries. Stay all the way! Yes, stay all the way! The march was meant to send a clear message to Congress. The decision to end Saturday delivery was announced back in February, but it isn't planned to go into effect until August. We didn't expect this kind of a turnout, but it really shows me that people do care about the service that's, that we provide, uh, not five days a week, but six days a week. For us, Saturday is not just a, it's not a weekend, it's just another work day for the letter carriers and the clerks. Rochester's Letters Carrier Union is pushing support for a bill to pass the Postal Service Protection Act. U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand released a statement in support of the Letters Carriers Union today, saying, quote, we must find a way to make the Postal Service solvent while maintaining a high level of service and quality jobs for employees. Cutting to five-day delivery should be a last resort, not a first step. Her colleague, Senator Chuck Schumer, released a similar statement. 
40 RIT students were in Texas this weekend for a special project called Big Shot Photography. This year's picture was a shot of Dallas Cowboy Stadium. Let's take a look. This is the before shot of the stadium with their lights out. You can make out some people there at the bottom of your screen dressed in black, both lining the street and in the parking lot. We want to show you the final picture now. All of the light provided by the over 2400 volunteers that had to shine continuous light on the stadium while the picture was taken. That final photograph was taken by an RIT professor. This is RIT's 28th Big Shot project. To see more Big Shot photographs, just head to our website, rochesterhomepage.net, and look for this story under news headlines. RIT also announced today that an event featuring Maya Angelou, scheduled for tomorrow, will be postponed. Angelou is a famous poet. In 2011, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor by President Obama. RIT says poor weather due to winter storm Virgil has caused some travel delays. RIT's Division for Diversity and Inclusion says they, quote, apologize for any inconvenience caused by the rescheduling of the program. They went on to say we intend to fully honor our obligations to those who registered when planning the new program. An evening with Maya will be rescheduled later next month. Campus officials plan to contact all registrants as soon as a new date for that event is confirmed. On to a developing story tonight. The Supreme Court will hear two separate appeals this week on the issue of same-sex marriage. Arguments will be made to establish same-sex marriage as a constitutional right. Christina Mutchler has more on this story. People are already lining up at the Supreme Court in hopes of getting a seat to witness history. Arguments over the right to same-sex marriage start Tuesday. Central in the debate, whether marriage should be considered a state or federal issue. Americans on both sides of this issue are deeply invested in this debate on marriage. We don't need a 50-state solution presented by the Supreme Court when our democratic institutions are perfectly capable of handling this issue. There are certain things that shouldn't be put up for a vote. And gay people, like non-gay people, deserve under the Constitution the ability to shape a family, to build a life, and to have these dreams. Appeals will be heard on California's Proposition 8 that outlaws same-sex marriage and the Federal Defense of Marriage Act, or DOMA, that legally defines marriage as between a man and woman. Conservative leader Rand Paul says he believes in traditional marriage, but not DOMA. I don't want the government promoting something I don't believe in, but I also don't mind if the government tries to be neutral on the issue. Although recent polls show a majority of Americans support same-sex marriage, California's attorney general says it's more important to read the Constitution. I am absolutely against a ban on same-sex marriages because they, are simply, voters... because they are simply unconstitutional. I'm Christina Mutchler reporting. Coming up here on Fox, a California man gets a huge surprise. And look at that, a car lands on the roof of his home. We'll have details. And Pope Francis celebrates his first Palm Sunday as head of the Catholic Church. The Denny Hamlin Joey Logano feud, well, it reached a whole new level today, and now other drivers are taking sides. Thad Brown has more on the dispute later in Sports Extra. You're watching Tina Shively, meteorologist Stacy Pengen, and Sports with Thad Brown. This is Fox Rochester News, first at 10 in high definition.